Yesterday, anti-Israel activists blocked bridges in New York City, California, Chicago, and around the country. Uh, they're pro-Hamas, right? They're pro-Hamas, they're pro-Hezbollah, they're anti-Semitic, they're anti-Jew, they're anti-Israel. I went on Martha McCollum's show yesterday on Fox and was asked about these demonstrators. Cut number 10. Hugh, it's always struck me that the, the heinous, brutal nature of the October 7th attack was intentional because it provoked an enormous response, right, in Gaza. And now it has provoked further divisions by the biggest supporter of Israel, the United States. And we see that happening across the country. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's unwise for people to speak out on behalf of anything to do with Hamas. I think it's unwise for these demonstrators to be showing any kind of support for them because Sinwar is watching his tunnel and supporters of Hamas are watching from their various redoubts in Gaza. Hezbollah is watching, the Ayatollah Khomeini is watching, and they think they're winning. They don't understand that this is not a representative group of Americans. And more importantly, club appeasement over at the White House, where they're urging Israel not to respond. They're watching, and they are politically scared to death. They are afraid these people are going to Chicago, and they are going to Chicago. They are afraid that gas prices are going to go up, because when Israel strikes at Iran, they're going to actually impact oil supplies. And that's the president's in political bind. I understand why they want everyone to go back. But it isn't going to happen with this kind of thing going on. And, and when I say they're going to Chicago, they're going to Chicago in August. They're all going to the Democratic Convention. All of these demonstrators and protesters, there's nothing Joe Biden can do about his left flank because his left flank is nuts and they are pro Hamas. They don't have any idea what it means. I, I, Martha came back to me, cut number uh, 10. These protesters have a very specific goal. They call out the president, Joe Biden, on a daily basis. They call him Genocide Joe. They want him to end his support for Israel. And they are coming out in force. And then I think about the fact that I think it was about 50 members of Congress signed a letter, including Nancy Pelosi, saying that because of what was happening in Gaza, they did not support continued weapons sales to Israel. So is this protest effort, Hugh, is it working? I think it is, Martha, and good afternoon to you and Leslie. I do think it is working because of the White House's response to the unprecedented attack on Israel on Saturday night. And I do believe the response of the White House was to try and get Israel not to respond, and that's the direct response to this, which is a preview of coming actions, like a long trailer for the Chicago convention the Democrats are going to put on in uh, Chicago in August. All these folks are going to go there. The good news, Martha, they're not in the Trump jury pool, so I'm glad about that. The other good news, everybody in their car, everybody watching at home, is more and more moving towards putting Trump in the fall as they watch the collapse of the border. The bad news is, I don't know how ignorant these people are, Hamas or Hezbollah is, but it's got to be fairly ignorant, because I can't imagine any American in their right mind marching for terrorism. That is the bottom line. They're marching for terrorism. They are marching for terrorism.